Hey guys and welcome back. Today's video we're going to be targeting our legs and our glutes. I really wanted to do this video because after four to five years of training, I know exactly what works for me. These exercises may not work for you, but I know my body absolutely loves them and it's helped me grow a booty, get lean and toned legs, and I just swear by these exercises. I'm gonna run through them, I'm gonna show you how to perform them, so make sure that you stay, stay tuned because you are gonna absolutely love them. If you miss anything, it will be in the description box, so do not worry. So without further ado, let's go to the gym and let's get this workout done. Five top exercises that have changed my glutes and my legs. Yay. Jumping straight into the first exercise, we are going to be performing sumo deadlifts. Sumo deadlifts are by far my favorite type of deadlift. It hits your quads, your hamstrings, and most importantly, your glutes. I absolutely love sumo deadlifts. So what I want you to do is have your feet wider than shoulder width apart, with your feet externally rotated outwards. This will help hit your hamstrings and glutes much more. I want you to grip the barbell and your hands should be inside of your legs, not outside. Take a breath and then lower your hips, looking forward with your head, but also keeping your chest upwards. I want your head to follow the direction of your spine. Do not look left, do not look right or up. Follow the direction of your spine. This will prevent any injuries from occurring. When I'm lowering the weight back down, as you can see, my shoulders are rolling forward over the bar. And this will actually really help you to stretch your hamstrings and when bringing the weight back up, it will help you contract your glutes. As you can also see, my legs are incredibly still. My upper body is incredibly still as well. I'm keeping constant form. And this is because I'm not using a crazy amount of weight. Start slow, start light, and progressively add more weight. I want you to perform 10 reps, 4 sets. Moving on to the exercise that well and truly transformed my glutes and I cannot go one week without incorporating a barbell hip thrust. The first thing I want you to do is find a low box or even put the bench lower. And the reason being is I'm five foot three and find that low benches actually help with my contraction much more in my glutes and helps with my form. So if you're a shorty like me, definitely opt for a lower box. Once your shoulder blades are comfortably positioned on your box or the bench, I want you to bring the barbell onto your hips and then bend your knees at a 90 degree angle. Externally rotating your feet outwards will help with the contraction of the glute much more. What I also want you to do is keep your chin well and tucked into your chest and constantly look forward. Please do not tilt your head up, down, side, left or right, just keep it forward. Now when you are bringing the weight up, I want you to tuck your tailbow in, similar to an ice cream scooper. Squeeze your glutes at the top for a couple of seconds before releasing the weight back down. Make sure to remember to drive through your heels as well. This will really help with glute contraction. I want you to perform this exercise for 12 reps, three sets. Moving on to split squats. Now I have a love-hate relationship with this exercise. Absolutely love it because it does wonders for my glutes, but hate it because it just kills. What I want you to do is place one foot on the bench and the other should be at a 90 degree angle, as you can see. It's also okay if your knee goes a little bit over your toe, so long as your back is straight, that is the most important thing. As you can see here, I'm not locking out my knee when I'm coming back up. And this is one, to keep constant tension in my legs, and two, it will help with balance. When you are locking out your knees, you could lose a little bit of balance and become a little bit wobbly. Like I said with the sumo deadlifts, please start with a light to moderate weight. You don't wanna go crazy with this exercise because it is a single leg exercise. So that does mean balance. Start light, perfect your form, then add more weight. Moving on to an exercise which I truly think is so underrated but has done wonders for my hamstrings. This is the stiff leg elevated deadlift. Now the reason I'm using elevation is because I am a shorty and two, I have very flexible hips. So I need a little bit more height 
to go a little bit deeper so if you are short if you use an elevation it will really help you get a deeper stretch make sure you're pulling the weight with your hamstrings and stretch your hamstrings as much as possible cables are an amazing tool to use in the gym please 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 don't be afraid of cables they are absolutely insanely amazing because they have constant tension and it will add a little bit more resistance into your training regime i want you to perform 12 reps three sets of this exercise the final exercise had to be a squat i absolutely love squats they make me feel powerful they make me feel strong so what i want you to do is rest the bar on your shoulders i like to rest it on my traps please do not rest it on your neck definitely on your traps unload the rack and place your feet about shoulder width apart a little wider but whatever feels comfortable to you your feet should be planted to the ground your heels should not be lifted nor should your toes nothing should be lifted from the ground when you're bringing the weight down i want you to push your hips outwards and keep your chest nice and raised also your core should be remaining tight at all times push the weight up and as you can also see here i'm not locking my knees completely outwards i'm keeping a constant tension a constant pulse into these squats so that means i'm not losing balance i'm not hyper extending my hips everything is simultaneous I hope you guys enjoyed this video and oh my god, thank you so so much to absolutely every single person who downloaded the app, who paid for a subscription, thank you so so much. I truly truly hope that you absolutely love the Toner Sculpt app. If you haven't got it yet, the link is in my description box. You simply download it, you get a 7 day free trial. It will blow your mind. So many new features are being added to the app. New development is always being made and new content is always going to be uploaded. I am so honestly thankful and blessed. I hope, hope, hope you love this program and I hope you love this app as much as I love you. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and following me on Instagram. Comment down below for any future videos that you would like to see. Remember that I love you always and forever.